This is Robert with Hudson's Precision Ag Team. I wanted to make a quick video over setting up a mobile RTK base station. Um, pretty simple, a uh, 3000 receiver, a uh, RTK radio attached on the back with an RTK activation. I've got a base station, mobile base station harness here, which is fairly simple. Um, on the display over here to get this thing set up, go up to the top like we're used to, hit 3000. This is the main page everybody's used to seeing in their equipment. You hit your tripod over here, this will bring you into the RTK network configuration. Right now it's in vehicles, so it could go in a tractor, combine, something along that line. You want to hit configure and change that to quick survey base. Now, network ID radio frequency. Uh, I've got on a tower that is probably 40 miles away from where I'm standing, so I know I'm not going to have any bleed over. So I can leave it as that. Power all the way turned up, which is 2.0. Hit the next button, changing network settings, yep. Next button, it'll configure it. Now this is set up as a base station. So if you take another RTK receiver, put in the network ID and the radio frequency that I have listed here, it'll attach to it. This does not take place of a RTK base station. And the reason that we would use something like this is if we're doing something in a field that requires precise elevation accuracy. We can set this up and it'll be close to the other receiver that we're using and we're going to know it's going to be accurate. But this does not have very much range. So this is going to be a field to field uh, scenario. You could also uh, use this if your local RTK tower went down. You could use this as a backup to keep you running. Um, if you find these videos important, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We do try to put out videos somewhat regular. If you hit the subscribe button, make sure you turn on notifications. You'll get to see everything we're doing. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.